What's the word? Division terms. Not knowing the proper division terms can lead to big problems. If a scientist working in his lab mixes up the dividend and the divisor when doing calculations and working with chemicals, things could go very wrong. If a baker at a donut shop makes a mistake and forgets about accounting for remainders, she might find out that no more flour remains. Without more flour, she can't make more donuts. And no donuts is a very big problem. Or if a pair of pirates can't figure out if their share of a treasure is the quotient or the dividend, it could result in one of them having to walk the plank. And no one wants to walk the plank. Fortunately, we can avoid all of these problems by remembering some basic division terms. Dividend. The number that is being divided is called the dividend. In this problem, 485 is being divided by 5. So 485 is the dividend. Divisor. The number you are dividing by is called the divisor. Look at that last problem. You're looking for how many times 5 can be divided into 485. So 5 is the divisor. The quotient is the number of times the divisor goes into the dividend. Going back to 485 divided by 5, 5 goes into 48 9 times, giving you 48 minus 45, leaving you 3. Bring down the 5 for 35. Then 5 goes into 35 7 times. 35 minus 35 is 0. So your answer to how many times 5 goes into 485, or the quotient, is 97. With some problems, you will have a remainder. This is the number that is left over if your divisor does not go into your dividend exactly. Let's take our problem we just solved, but we'll change 485 to 489. Again, 5 goes into 48 9 times. Bring down the 9 next to the 3. 5 goes into 39 7 times. 39 minus 35 leaves you with 4. In other words, Four is your remainder. One more thing. There's more than one way a problem might show you that you are supposed to divide. It might look like this, kind of like a tipped over L. It might look like this, a division sign that's a line with a dot above and below it. It might look like this, like a slash. It all means the same thing, divide to solve. With each problem, you will still have a divisor, a dividend, and a quotient. Whether it looks like this, or like this, or like this. You'll notice when the slash or division sign is used, the dividend is the first number in the problem, and the divisor is second. However, when the problem is written using the division symbol that looks like this, the divisor is the first number, and the dividend is the second number. This is something you just want to make sure you remember so you don't mix up your divisor and your dividend. This will help you prevent easily avoidable mistakes. And once you've got these division terms and concepts down, you might even find division is fun.